Good morning, good morning, everybody. Before we start, some reminders during our Zoom meeting. Make sure that you listen attentively today. And raise your hand button is available should you have any questions or comments. All right, it's day six of our distance learning, and we are going to talk about electromagnetics. Before we start with that, let's take a look at this video of the uses of electromagnets. And that's coming up after this. 96.3. As a radio DJ, I'm surrounded by permanent magnets all the time. Or oh, TV. All right. So while you're watching, I ask you to type or write down the name of some uses of electromagnets. Go ahead and put that in your chat box or in your notebook. And according to some of you, it says speakers um, at the doctor's office and also hair dryers. Our goal for today is for us to define what are those forces of nature that creates electromagnetism. Same direction, creating that invisible force known as magnetism. Now the power of a magnet is known as the magnetic force of the magnet. Now this short video will show you how magnetic forces or magnetic field happens. We can't see magnetism unless we represent it in this demo. So magnets have two poles, north and south. So in this case, we have a bar magnet. As poles come close to each other, they either attract or repel. Now, there are some examples of electromagnet models that you can use in your project. These are some examples of how you can use your project. But this one, I have a sample of the electromagnet that I made, which is the motor right here. So let's take a look at this one. So you just need the magnet. So let's take a look at this. So just to summarize our lesson today that we identified and explained the forces of nature that create electromagnetism and determine what factors affect the strength of electric and magnetic forces. So this week, Station Labs will be posted Tuesday and Thursday. And I'll see you next week.